Hi, this is Jeff, and welcome back to this series of videos about LunchCliques.com. In this video, we will be discussing how to create a new LunchClick proposal. It should be noted that creating a new LunchClick proposal also creates a vote for that proposal. And remember, you can only have one active vote on any given day, and that means across all of your cliques. You can get to the new Lunch Click Proposal page in three ways. First, by selecting New Lunch Click Proposal in the calendar menu. Secondly, from the My Cliques page when viewing a specific click in the upcoming Lunch Click Proposals section. And lastly, from the calendar page. There may be multiple new lunch click proposal buttons on the calendar page, depending on the number of active cliques you have for that day. They all take you to the same place. It's just that buttons within an expanded dark blue box for a particular lunch click pre-populate the selected click on the proposal page, whereas the bottom button leaves the click unselected on that page. Let's use that bottom button. Creating a new lunch click proposal just means selecting a date and time, a click, and a restaurant. You will find it best to start with the date and time. If the date is not correct, change it by clicking on the currently selected date. This will let you see the calendar page, which will show you what other lunch click proposals are active for that day, and you can see what your new proposal is going to have to compete with. Now that you have chosen the day, choose the time in the provided drop downs for hour and minute. Let's say 11.30. Now select the clique you want to go with. These are the same cliques you have on your My Cliques page. I'm going to select My Arties clique. Now all we need to do is select a restaurant. Open up the All Restaurants section. You are shown the 100 closest restaurants to your current location sorted alphabetically. If this list doesn't seem to get your location quite right, click on the Change All Restaurants Location button where you can fine tune that. This is explained in more detail in the My Preferences video. I recognize most of these restaurants in my neck of the woods, and I want to go to uh, Famous Dave's for some barbecue. There it is. Now that I've selected it, you can see the restaurant appearing at the top. Now we're good to go, and all we need to do is click on the Create Lunch Click Proposal button at the bottom. We're taken back to the My Calendar page, and we can see how that new Lunch Click proposal sits with the other proposals for that day. Here's a couple more tips and tricks that might come in handy for you. When on the new Lunch Click proposal page, open the Favorite Restaurants section. Initially, you won't have any, so we'll have to add them. I'm going to find Famous Dave's again. Only this time, instead of clicking on the Select button, I'm going to click on the little Add to Favorites button that looks like a star. 
you can see that restaurant up in my favorite section now. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a few more random favorites. And you can see them added there. If I decide a restaurant really isn't one of my favorites, then I can click the Remove Favorite icon button that looks like an X. And they will be removed. Now, when I come to this page, I can select from just my favorites instead of the list of 100 in the All Restaurants list. Now there is one more feature you should know about, and that is the Add Unlisted Restaurant to Favorites. You may want to use this to add your company cafeteria or any restaurant you cannot find in the All Restaurants list. There are more than a million restaurants available, but you still might not, might not find the one you are looking for. That's where this page comes in. Please fill out all the fields and click the Add Restaurant to Favorites button. Please give the complete address so that the map feature will work properly. Your newly added restaurant will show up with your other favorites and you can select it just like any of those. Please continue exploring the various features of lunchcliques.com on your own, but most of all, have fun. That's it for now, and be sure to check out the other videos in this series. Hasta la vista, and keep cliquing!